Hey guys, how's it going? Powin here. Welcome back to the channel. It's awesome to have you guys here for another DIY technical video by Acuity Instruments. So in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating the install procedure for our short throw adapter onto this 2020 Honda Civic right behind me. Now this entire procedure is going to take you about an hour to two hours max, depending on your level of technical experience. If you're looking for the most detail to supplement this video install guide, don't forget to check out our website to find our online PDF install guides. So with that being said, let's get to the install. To begin, pop open the hood and support it in place. Then locate the vehicle's battery in the engine bay. Loosen the negative terminal clamp on the battery and then pull the clamp from the negative battery post and set it aside as shown. Next, pry under the armrest trim pieces to pop each of the four clips that secure it to the center console. Start at the front of the trim piece and work your way back. Then repeat this step on the trim piece on the other side. To remove the shift knob, first squeeze the boot collar directly below the shift knob. Pull down to release the boot collar from the knob. Then use a wrench to hold the binding nut in place, then rotate the knob counterclockwise by hand to loosen it. Then unthread the shift knob and binding nut from the shifter. There are two trim pieces that run along both sides of the center console. Starting at the bottom of the trim piece, pry between the trim piece and the center console. Then work your way prying up the sides of the trim piece to pry out the remaining clips that fasten it in place. Repeat these steps to remove the second trim piece on the other side. Next, remove the two screws on each side of the shifter surround with a screwdriver. Then pry underneath the front of the shifter surround to unclip it from the center console. Then work your way back, prying up the rest of the clips that secure the sides of the shifter surround to the center console. Next, disconnect the wiring connectors underneath the shifter surround. Each connector has a locking tab that needs to be depressed before it can be removed. With all of the connectors disconnected, lift the shifter surround off from the shifter and set it aside. Next we must remove the climate control head unit. Pry underneath each side of the unit as shown to unclip it from the upper console. Disconnect all the electrical connectors by first depressing the locking tabs on each connector to pull it free from the back of the unit. Then set the climate control unit aside. Next, we must remove the upper console panel assembly, which is screwed in place at the following three locations. First, remove the two upper Phillips screws as shown. Then remove the third screw at the bottom of the upper console panel near the shifter. With all the screws removed, shift into an even gear and then remove the upper console panel from the center console. Next, remove the following rubber tray mat then insert a pick tool into the slot just below the switch panel assembly. Pull on the bottom edge to unclip it from the center console. Then pry along each side of the panel to pull it out from the center console. Then disconnect all the wiring connectors behind the panel and then set it aside. Unclip the following light bulb from the center console. Then remove the adjacent harness clip as shown, using an angled pick tool to depress the retaining tabs on the clip. Proceed to remove the remaining wiring clips that affix the harness of the shifter surround to the inside of the center console, again using a pick tool to depress any retaining tabs on the clips. Clear out the storage area of the center console. Then remove the two screws that secure the center console to the chassis of the car. Next, we must remove the rear panel assembly behind the center console. Use a plastic pry tool to remove the rear panel assembly. Start at the top of the panel, and then work your way down, prying the panel away from the center console. Disconnect any electrical connections from this panel if you have them. Disconnect the following connector on the back of the center console, and then use a pick tool to remove the wiring harness clip from the back of the console. 
Again, there are retaining tabs that hold the clip in place. Pull back on the center console to unclip it from the dashboard. Then lift the center console up, then disconnect the USB port from the bottom of the console as shown. Once the USB plug has been disconnected, lift the center console up and off from the shifter, then set it aside. For the best access to the shifter assembly, we must remove the center console support bracket. Remove the two screws that affix the bracket to the chassis of the car, then set the bracket aside. To remove the gear selector cable, first spread open the retaining clip as shown, then slide the cable end link off from the lower shift rod. Pry the blue plastic end link bushing off from the lower shift rod as shown. Be careful not to drop the bushing once it's removed. Then use the supplied alcohol wipe to clean any remaining grease off of the ball end of the lower shift rod. Use the same alcohol wipe to clean any remaining grease from the interior of the blue end link bushing. Then open the packet of the provided purple grease and apply some of the grease into the end link bushing as shown. Place the end link bushing on a flat surface with the open end facing upwards. Then take your short throw adapter and press firmly down to snap the ball end into the bushing. Slide the short throw adapter onto the lower shift rod with the heads of the fastening screws facing towards the rear of the shifter as shown. Before you tighten things down, make sure that the adapter is pushed all the way up onto the lower shift rod. Tighten down the screws with the appropriate sized Allen driver and then torque them the spec. Once you've completed this install, the reassembly of the center console can be done following the disassembly steps in reverse order. All right, everyone, that wraps it up for today's install guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, if you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video below and also consider subscribing to the channel for more content. Now, if you guys wanna stay even more up to date with all of our parts and projects, don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook as well. Again, my name is Powan Song and I will catch you guys in the next video.